was the Maserati Gran Turismo Stradale knocking around in some beautiful countryside curves. I'd like to knock around in some beautiful countryside curves if you know what I mean. Hey-o. All right. Oh, 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 all right. Anyway, we got new photos and details on what possibly, maybe, conceivably, perchance, if all goes well, could be the fastest car in the world, the Ultimate Aero 2. Also, Jaguar could be going green with a new supercar. And is Porsche considering a return to Formula One? Also, we got Commenter of the Week. What's up, everybody? Happy Columbus Day! Also known as Happy Day Off for schools and government workers here in the U.S. And Happy Thanksgiving to all you Canadians. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, Monday. What's the date today? Right after this year's Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance, we saw two teaser shots of the possible new fastest car in the world, the SSC Ultimate Aero 2. Top Gear Magazine has just released more photos of the car that's set to hit a top speed of over 275 miles per hour. Yeah. Oh, you guys want some details? It'll be powered by a 6.8 liter twin turbo V8 that redlines at 9,000 RPM, producing about 1,350 horsepower. Price tag is 970,000 bucks large. Overall weight is about 2,600 pounds. That's almost 300 pounds lighter than a standard Porsche 911 Carrera. That gives the SSC Aero 2 a power to weight ratio double that of a standard Veyron. Judging by these photos, the car is still months away from actually moving on its own power. So VW, no need to build another version of the Veyron, yet. But if you want to, go ahead. I mean, who am I to tell you what to do? So whatever you want to do, just do it. It seems to be working. And two weeks ago at the Paris Auto Show, Jaguar revealed a concept supercar called the CX-75. It was the first Uber exotic the company has built since 1994 with the XJ220. Capable of 186 miles per hour in 15.7 seconds, that's a second faster than the Veyron. The concept uses 195 horsepower electric motors mounted to each wheel. Two turbine engines that are mounted in the center of the car to recharge the batteries and can run on either natural gas, diesel, or biofuel. After all the glitz and glamour of the auto show, we expected this concept to be rolled back into a crate and never be seen again until Jaguar either needed to auction it off for money or the company decided to actually be cool again. Well, guess what? They actually may be cool again. Reports have leaked today that the company is actually considering throwing the CX-75 into production. Say what? No, really, JF, say what? What? Yeah. Autocar.com has obtained information that Jaguar is conducting a feasibility study for building 1,000 to 2,000 CX-75s a year. Their biggest hurdle for the car is the development of the multi-fueled turbine motor set to recharge the batteries. Otherwise, the car doesn't involve much new technology. If given the green light, the CX-75 is still six years away from production by our calculations. So in all actuality, talking about it now is just, well, I don't know, kind of stupid. Say what? Yeah, six years from now. I'll tell you about it then. And in today's internet rumor mill news on the Audi Quattro concept we saw last week. They may build it. We all expected it, but now word from Audi's chief of development at Quattro GmbH is that they are considering the car as a limited edition based off the Audi S5 Coupe. Created to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the original Audi Quattro, that means Audi doesn't have much time to make a decision and build the damn thing. Speaking of Audi though, their now sister company Porsche they have some big plans of their own. According to several reports, Porsche is considering re-entering F1 for the first time since 1964. It was in the 80s that the company provided engines to a few teams, but never a full entry for themselves. The news comes on the heels of the Paris Auto Show, where new Porsche CEO Matthias Muller hinted that the other side of the company, Audi, would focus on racing in Le Mans while Porsche could make its way back to F1. That news trickled down to Bernie Ecclestone, the big boss of F1 management. Boss. Thanks, Rick. And he said he'd do whatever he could do to help Porsche if they were serious about F1. Leo brought this topic up on last Friday's Shakedown episode, but sadly, that episode was pulled down for a copyright violation by YouTube. So we figured it'd be the best to just fill you in again. Yeah, that's right. They took that s*** out. Hey, any of you guys curious about what time it is right now? Or No. Thanksgiving in Canada. Oh, thanks, Alan. It's Commenter of the Week time, or as we like to say, cow time. Yeah, comments of the week. Comments. 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 <laughs> well, this comment comes from a dude named Spongy85, and he said, I live in Ireland, and what I'd love to see over here is big American muscle cars with big V8s in them for the same price you guys pay for them. 
I'll gladly swap my Lancer for a Mustang or Challenger. Feck all these new laws. Yes, he actually wrote feck. Make everything solar or wind power to power your house and leave cars alone. Your house is never going to be expected to do zero to 60 in three seconds. Well, not a house in Ireland anyway. Maybe Winnebago is over there. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Laugh out loud, guys. Uh, yeah. oh, terrible. Well, Sponge85, we here at Fastlane Daily get so many crap comments and emails saying, Oh, American cars suck. The quality is bad. And blah, 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 yakety schmackety. So it's nice to hear you say that you want some good old American muscle over there in Ireland. You make a good point about focusing on making houses, buildings, etc. more green friendly and let cars just be cars. American muscle, kicking ass and taking names. That should be the tagline. Although, I wouldn't mind seeing a house go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. That would be pretty badass. If you could do it, please send in the video. And since you like American cars so much, let me tell you what I like about Ireland. You for commenting. Leprechauns. Shamrocks. You too. Gold at the end of rainbows. Nice green grass. I just feel like they have nice green grass over there. Enya and Sinead O'Connor. Okay, not Sinead O'Connor. She's pretty gross. But the rest is pretty cool. So keep those comments coming. Thanks for commenting. Spongy85, a t-shirt is coming your way. Ireland? Yeah. We, we gotta send it to Ireland. I know, that's what I was thinking, but we gotta send it to Ireland. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. Uh, for all you home watching this and don't have to work today, well, happy for you. Columbus Day, and as JF says, happy Thanksgiving to Canada. It's an Italian. Canadia. Columbus, he's Italian. It's Italian Day. Are you proud? That I'm a proud that I'm Italian, and Columbus was. I thought he was Spanish. And even though. So he sailed for Spain. He ah. sailed for Spain, but he was Italiano Staliano. But yeah, he gets the credit, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for.